Hello folks and welcome back to Court Farm. Here we are in January now, we're in the thick of January, sort of getting towards the end. And yeah, we skipped a bit just because simply not much to need to do in. I see money's gone down, that's because we decided to buy another tractor, so as we sort of mentioned and highlighted in that episode with the class, I was getting to its high hours of like 42 hours it was at. So yeah, so what I got inside to do was make an existing decision, buy all that fixed and repaired, and we bought the John Deere 6250R, 7 hours of work time on it, so yeah, it's not a brand new tractor. However, it's a vital addition to the farm. It's a good 300 horsepower tractor this is, and yeah, that will replace the class. I'm sure to keep that for the long term. We'll see that like, with how I've been doing my tractors pretty much. If we have a look, we've gone and replaced pretty much every tractor we've got with either a brand new one or second hand. But yeah, so I think with tractors and that we're gonna be fine for that for now. We are at five grand, so we do need to earn some money, so what we're going to be doing today is send the manure, sell the slurry, sell the milk, go to February, get all that sorted, and then, yeah, I think it's going to be a f pretty much it for then. But yeah, all the fields are being rolled and that, so if we have a look here, some just said fertilised, our wheat are starting to grow. And good thing with our wheat fields, don't need to do any wheat spraying. So we have a look at weeds and that. Load the map. Obviously, once the bits of rolling we missed in that, which is fair enough, it's gonna happen. There's no weeds, so that little bit of herbicide spraying we did initially was worthless. Wasted herbicide for nothing. I'm guessing because of how we did the fields and that. Maybe something on those lines, because we didn't plow everything. Or did we? I can't, honestly, I can't remember. I don't think we plowed every field, but. Yeah, I got a ton of pads here. And hopefully, get some more coming in. But anywho, we need to go into the wheel loader a sec. So, where's that to? Here it is. So, it's for its first job on the farm, it's going to be loading up the manure. So it's got 70,000 litres of slurry to sell. Wrong way. Yeah, things like the eggs and that don't even have a pile of eggs yet, so no rush to sell the eggs. We can sell them when they're at a decent price because we missed a peak. So the next decent price for them is going to be May. And um, funny enough, it is the same time to sell our wool now. So in May, what we can do is sell our eggs and our wool. So if we have a look at our prices, go down here. So eggs. Miss best time in October, so May, June time. Wool is going to be April and May, so we may sell both of those in May. And obviously June, that's when we sell our field beans. So yeah, it's 6,000 litres there. Definitely a lot better loading this up with compared to the wheel tegander. We've still got like 800,000 years of silage in that. We could sell some in February. We may do a trade if I'm really desperate for cash, but it could be a quarter of the only two. Oh, yeah, that's so nothing we've got to do. We'll get done this month, so then we get approved within a couple of weeks, and then have the money coming into the bank accounts. All we need to go into the office and get all of our financial statements. Part of here for now. Because yes, yeah, so the loan we're going to be looking at is quite substantial. Somewhere in the region of about 500 to 750 grand. And yeah, that's going to be a huge loan for us, but that is needed because I want to buy more fields and that. But also more equipment. 
what we need to do is figure out a way to get to your Mormix and at the moment we got Jack Crap to make to your How the can use market? And we do have this, we have the Kuhn SPW Tense 25.2 CL. So yeah, 25,000 litres it can produce, but yeah, it's still 25,000 litres, and I think the other one could do 30,000 litres or something like that. Because yeah, if we have the 24,000 litres, or is it two? This one here, yeah, 30,000 litres. So, yeah, no, we're going to go with that. Oh, little tanker. Does that have an extension or is it just... No, it's just Unreal Standard. But, yeah, so, this will be looking at... And that's 76 grand, so... We're better off. So, yeah, we've got 13,500 litres here. We've got 70,000 litres here. Then, when we come back, we will clean this out, pressure wash it. And then we'll sell the milk, which we've got 4,700 a year, so we have a look at everything. So obviously you know we'll be sending this to the sell everything container, so yeah, a grand each, 1100 for the manure, so not too bad. And we are at that peak price now, maybe if we wait we get a little bit more, but at this point, yeah, it's not really worth waiting around, especially if you go down. But for milk, best place to sell milk were not peak peak compared to September and that, but as peak it's going to get now, so 2283 is the optimal. We can get 2289, that's the highest. Yeah, and that's at Pine Creek store, so where is that to? Ah, right, fair enough, that's the. BGA area, so fair enough, we can do that. And obviously, everything's gonna go to the manure, and that's gonna sell everything. No, sorry, you're sorry, and that is here. So, I think you know what to do? Let's do a time lapse, get us all sold, and I'll see you folks once we're done. And hopefully, we have enough money to buy the mixed wagon. Alright, so didn't quite earn as much as I thought we were going to get. That's a bit of an underestimate on my part. But anyway, so I'm going to fill this up with water, just prepare that for when we start topping up the greenhouses over the next couple of months. But yeah, so let's see how much we got here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10. Yeah, I've got so many pallets here, so. 
think, yeah, I've got you sewed up. And I think, really, there ain't that much else to do for in January. I will go to the bank later on this afternoon. Got an appointment there at 2 o'clock. It's in the next county over, so... Need to take... Actually, what's our... Most... Fastest tractor, because we're going to hit some... National speed limits and that, so... 31, 31, 37. So yeah, maybe take, I think you know what, take the John Deere, 31 miles an hour is fast enough for us, so. But yeah, if you can sell all these in February. And uh, we should get a pretty hefty amount of money for this, hopefully we do. Put a lot of time and money into it. It's like 20 grand for the greenhouses, the fertilizer and that, that's an expensive commodity. But yeah, I think it's worth it because it does it, what, about double the rate, typically standard, if it's just water. So the fertilizer gives it a bit of an extra boost in growth. But yeah, I don't know if it's going to be worth it or not. That's why I've only done two initially, but if we get decent profits this year, then we can start looking at expanding this. Of course, we can put, maybe put one more greenhouse in this corner here, but... I don't want to serve the country part view too much, and that's also happy thinking of with the we're gonna get. Maybe it's worth to buy another plot of land or even heck it, another farm. Maybe something like Stonebridge Farm or Home Farm, something like that. Just so that we can have a farm sort of act as a sort of base for all of our equipment. And it's away from the view of the country park. So, yeah, I'm sure people who come here over the summer, I haven't even mentioned, but I've still got campers here. So, it's a year round business, of course, but. Like, it's just like the noise pollution from the tractors and that, from that working around constantly, day in, day out. Especially when we're doing the late shifts around harvest time and that. So, yeah, I'm thinking. Because we have a look. We've got a few options for farms wise, so our plot size, we've got a massive plot down down here. That's a quarter of a mil. Seenbridge farm is a three grand. Home farm is two hundred and eighteen grand. I think there's another farm down here we can potentially buy. That's two hundred and thirty five grand. So yeah, some options. Stainbridge looks the best option for us. Maybe take a little tour down there and have a look. Wait a minute, what do we have? 192, that's a small plot of land. Five grand. Hmm, actually, what did we purchase that land? Actually, bear with me a sec. Actually, yeah, so we'll stop doing this. I will take a little quick detour here. Because I am curious. Don't recall by now, then. Maybe for greenhouses or something. If it is, we'll have a look see if there's actually a suitable spot for more greenhouses. So, it's down here. Ah, this is the bakery, perhaps. Ah, that might be actually, but let's have a little check. And yes, it was the bakery, so yeah, yeah, actually, purchase that. But we do have it anyway, so also here we'll take a look at Stonebridge Farm. Just having thinking that it's super for equipment in that. Managed to have access, got permission to have a look around. A few little base store equipment in that. And I'm thinking Yeah, decent size. We don't own, we need to purchase this separately and what's this, what, pigs? Thinking pigs or something, maybe? We have chickens here, is that part of the land? So yeah, we can grow, have chickens here, I think. As well, again, boost in animal business and that. Then we've got storage here, I think. Yep, yeah, storage not a bunker silo. I think there is a bunker silo around here. Access to another silo. Yeah, it's actually 
furnace is actually pretty well laid out. Space here, store, pallets and stuff now. It's not a closed area, but it keeps it out of draw out of wetness, it keeps it dry. Yeah, a few little bays over here, store equipment. Ooh, another campsite we could possibly look at purchasing as well. Have a look over here. So you got more rabbits. We don't have rabbits, but maybe a possible. So I'm thinking. Ooh. Yeah, another drive-through bay. Got another outside bunker side clamp. Another bay in here. And yes, yeah, some more bays, so. You know what I think actually this could be really worth it. And of course, there's gonna be some extra plots of land we may purchase. She wants 182, that is grass field across the road, so I know it's this one here, right? Ah, it's a camping ground, so Wait, is it? Yeah, it's the camping grounds. 102 grand. Compared to how much did. Oof. I see. It looks bigger. But would we actually get more business, more money coming in? I'm not sure on that. But yeah, tempted. So this grass comes part of it. Maybe. I've got an idea. So let's go get the drone out, just so we can get a error view. So I'm thinking, if we get more greenhouses, we can put them in here. So I'm thinking, yeah, we could do one, two, three, at least four. Bit of a tight fit, I know. But you can do that one, two, three. Yeah, four, five greenhouses. So if you come out well, and that actually seems to be worth it. Ooh, hey, we can even do little vineyards. Mm, uh, yeah, olives and grapes—they are worth it. I doubt we could do anything like production chain wise. Then also we've got these multi crop greenhouses and we can grow all of the crops pretty much. Strawberries and all that your typical stuff. Also like potatoes. <clears throat> but they do require seed, manure and lime and fertilizer. Compared to the hydroponics where it just requires water and liquid fertilizer, so I think I'm tempted just stick with this. But yeah, that's an option for us doing Bridge Farm. And actually, let's take a little quick at this area over here. So I can't remember what the name of this farm was, so yeah. Give me a few minutes and more seconds for you all. And yes, let's head over there and have a little look, shall we? Because yeah, this is important research we need to do. And here we are at Elmcroft Farm, that was it, so... This is another farm, let's turn the beacons off. Stop here, turn the engine off, come out, so... Another error for us. Some, some moist crowns. Ooh. Yeah, it looks like another cow area looks like workshop area looks like silo bunker silo or is that a manure heap I think that's a manure heap or possibly could be used as a manure heap and this is a bunker silo storage Surrey pit I think this is for sheep, if I'm correct. So your workshop. 
is a bit tight. I will have to admit to that. But then we get access to a huge grass and area. We get all of this. So we get. So it's not free one. Yeah, so. It's just. This grass area here. And this grass area over here. So. Decent sized potential fields. With access to 51 if you want to purchase that as a little extra fields. And does we get this little area down here? Yeah, so we get this little area that's next to 33, 39, and all that. So, the accessibility wise is a better option for us in terms of fields and that. But, yeah, we're looking for more fields, but we've already got what the ones we want down. And some of them have already got crops in or already an actual field rather than like these which are just pure grass fields so thinking you know what heck it we'll go with this we'll go with 182 get this and then we'll have a look at some of these so yeah 30 grand 60 150 250, 350, 330, three, about 335 grand, give or take. Ooh. Yeah, again, we'll have some options. I'll speak to a local realtor on that, but anyways, let's continue along with loading up the. Uh, what was it? The pallets, that's it. Yeah, these pallets loaded up, and then. I think after that, I'll see folks in February when we go and sell them. frames at the moment with all the strawberries, tomatoes and lettuce we're going to be selling. And we're going to be selling it at the Tall Tree store. I did say it was going to go to February but right now it is at its peak price so I think we're having a risk. Oh uh, was it you know maybe losing a few quid here or I think if it goes on even a little bit over between now and February maybe lose a couple of grand here and there at most. So you know what, full heck it, set it now. I'm going to set it at the tall tree store, so we need to break and then go left here. I've got the marker up so you can actually see which one it is, but we're having a new lot suffering through the choppy frame right here. I'm going to go straight to this up point and sell these and see how much money we can make. 
And there we go, here we are. So let's go see how much we're going to be making here. So 36, 18, and 8,000 litres respectively. And yeah, even though for different products it's peak at slightly different places, for example, strawberries, better at long meadows stores. But when you compare it to things like with the tomatoes, 1705 for where we're going to be sending it to now. Long Meadows 1664 and then the lettuce 383 here. Maybe slightly better if we go to the other one around the corner. What in heck it to sell everything container or long meadow stores. But yeah, sell everything container for the others. Slightly below, so I'm thinking on average this is gonna be the best one. Yeah, if you want to sell them separately, that's perhaps we should do. That's what we may do next time, so let's see how much money we're going to be making here. So we're at 49.5. And as we sell this, the frame rate is going to improve. There we go. And look at that money rocketing up. Wow. Was greenhouses worth it? Oh, uh, definitely. That's 88 grand. That is a sweet deal for us. And yeah, I'll go into the greenhouses for where we're going to be placed next. That's all, again, tangible upon the approval of our loan application. Put four down to the banking at. I said, here's what we're looking at for. 750 grand and yeah it really depends on what they say in that we have put an offer down for cloud damages so for example some of our brand new equipment we've bought including our Massey here it's not really brand new now we've done 17 hours on this almost but it is brand new and still worth a fair amount so once again, we put the actual entire farm up as collateral, so it includes all the cattle, every equipment in that. And yeah, that's worth over a million alone. So, as long as they're happy in that, so we set a plan of a two year repayment. Interest rate, since we've done well on our last loan, the interest rate is going to be between 5 and 10%, so I'm thinking it's going to be about a 7.5% interest rate we're going to have to pay. You know what? Overall, I'm not too disappointed on that. That actually is quite interesting. But yeah, so animals are looking good. Chickens, they do need more feed. Cows, they are going to run out of TMR. However, we would get through all of that silage because, yeah, ooh. might as well. Because TMR is better, and I'd rather have a full set there. Horses are actually looking good at the moment. So do need to ride them today. Yeah, so fitness are at seventy-five percent. Not too bad. So at the moment, they're worth eleven hundred. I we bought them for what five hundred quid or so. Obviously, buying the was it the oats? A little bit of an expense, but I think. Overall, at the end of it, it's going to be worthwhile, so... I think that's where we'll leave it today, so... Yeah, what we're going to do now is just wait on the feedback from the banking app, see what they say. In terms of the approval of the loan application, if they do, that's great. If not, we're going to have to look elsewhere for a loan. So I really want to expand this farming app. So can we do contracting business in the spring and that? So we do ha actually have one contract. Cultivation on 118. But the farmer said he's away until sort of the farm season is come back at the end of February, so we've still got another month to get that done, so overall I am not disappointed on that. But yeah, so I think that's where I leave it today. It's gonna be a bit of a short one, but mixing up a bit a bit so. Anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, 
Smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for what you to do, hope you're going to stay. But for now, it's me, Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.